right. Tongue will go floor to go down. Two lots of this. Just for hoover. The screws. New door lock. Luckily I've got the roof on because it rained last night. Um, but I forgot corking when I was out. Sunday thing shuts early. So we've got little holes to fill everywhere. I don't think you've seen them. Quite a few, I want to fill them before the insulation. B and Q didn't do the insulation I want, so I'll get that tomorrow. But yeah, just the hoover. We'll get the floor done. Huh, easy peasy. I think we're going to go that way and have a strip down there. And then the join won't matter because that's storage and shelves on that side. Um, got the stud, wall, stud work over there. I'm going to put an internal wall. So this side of the shed will be camping and stuff. Um, camping and prep stuff or shelf there and then a stud wall in the middle and that'll be for radios or radio room five foot by five foot radio room for a little mini door uh, insulate this or 25 mil insulation again I couldn't get it today and uh, board out the inside air vent solar panels get some light in yeah, I'm just trying to work out which way around the floor goes but yeah I'm not sure I thought I'd go back for another two packs to do the rest of this, but I might just put a rug down in there. Um, but this is going to be more walking on, so we can do a hundred screws, pack a hundred screws, so I can screw the hell out of this floor. There's not much flex, the shed still isn't settled. But yeah, I've got to be smashing up this OSB floor with toolboxes. I've got a metal tool chest and stuff, and I'm dragging that in and out, and my high lift and stuff. Yeah, second floor is probably the better option and it will stabilise it with millions of screws sandwiching it all together. And that's it so far. Right. Well, I said I didn't really have much off the shed going up, it was just me and a mate, we were chilling out. We kept stopping for coffees and natters and had some, some food. As you can see, I can't quite stand up at it, but it is just, uh, I'm tall. <laughs> I'm mainly going to be sat down operating radios. But, uh, so it's not so much the height that's the issue, it's just you don't want to protrude into the garden too much. And yeah, we need the storage. We swap the flooring around, we're still contemplating because of the cuts. So I have it four foot and the wall, five foot and the wall. Which Anyway, so we'll have a little look at the lock. That's what's going on the shed door, not that. I've all seen these before. I want something quick that the rest of the house can use. Um, something like a snap lock so it shuts. So you don't have to worry about locking it and just walk away. And if you're running it quickly, you have to keep looking for a key, worrying about locking the key in here, getting locked in. Oh, it's just so much easier to have one of these. Yeah, there's a camera up there facing right. One of the cameras. Um, There'll be two more going up soon. But yeah, so I might put this up while we're thinking about the lock. Because there's no rush, uh, well, thinking about the floor, there's no rush to do anything. And if I rush anything, I'll get it all wrong. But these are simple. And again, if we're using this half for storage, the rest of the household's got access. The floor is done, just hanging up that new camping light I got a while ago, mosquito bug thing. So floor's down, already screwed in. I've got the first bit of stud on the floor. I'm gonna build a wall, just deciding if it's gonna be a sliding door, door in the middle. I always wanted a door in the middle. But wasn't sure how I was working out the space. But now I've got a bit of furniture in here. I thought two of them would take up all the space over there, but I could probably get four of these ferity Cages in. So loft tongue and groove, 18 mil, screwed in with brass brass screws, 20 mil screws. Um, no, sorry, 30 mil screws. Yeah, 30 mil screws. So they've gone through the 18 mil and then 24 mil uh, OSB 
board. Moving light. So yeah, this will be five foot by five foot in here for the radios. Then so five foot by five foot as a shed. Uh, couldn't get it. I keep repeating myself. So yeah, hopefully I'm off tomorrow. Uh, insulation tomorrow. But definitely makes a big difference. The floor's not so loud now, but without it, you can you can hear everything on the floor. It's like a drum. It's a lot quieter. Stiffened it up. So you can see there how much space we'll have for a radio room. Well impressed with the gap all the way around. I know we've moved the bins, so I'm gonna eventually flag off this whole area so we can get the bins in and out. Yeah, the gap all the way around is equal. Totally chuffed for that big walkway. Not so wide with the angle of the lens, but. Even when this is gone and the car or caravan's here, plenty of room. Like leftover flagstones here. These will go at the front. <sighs> Definitely sufficient for a radio room, especially for what we had beforehand. Um, for insulation and the soundproofing, the acoustics should be good. Um, for the Yesu, get some proper lighting in. Should be weak. I think that's it for today. And now, we'll see. I think it's for dinner. <laughs>